It is February 14th, 2023, Valentine's Day, and we have the Court of Love bundle in the item shop at 4.30 a.m. Epic Games was very nice to give me the outfit back bling and tool for free, so thank you very much for that, Epic Games. And now all I have to do is buy the weapon wrap. So we have the weapon wrap here, gestures, privilege, not animated, not reactive. The outfit is called Folly, and we do have it at a style for a mask on, mask off. The back bling is Folly's heart case, and then the actual tool is the heart ache. Ooh, that impact. I was not expecting that. Looks pretty good. If you'd like to use me as your supporter creator, P-I-Z-0, Pizza with a zero, you know we're getting it. And Epic Games, thank you once again. Yes! Let's first cover aiming down sides with the mask on and mask off. And for the gameplay, we're going to include the gumdrop glider. First of all, the physics on the armor on the actual shoulders. It looks like it's kind of breathing, which is cool. ADS should be fine here, though. No problems there. I like the jewelry, the piercings. Look at the shoulders now. See how they're moving back and forth there? That's a really interesting concept. But yeah, ADS is fine here. Some basic movement. We do have some physics on the actual skirt and the bow there. Also, the shoulders again and the hair. Everything looks really good for the physics. No problems there. Gun drop once again here. It's a lot of red. I probably could have incorporated a little bit more purple slash pink here. But it looks good so far. With the mask on edit style, we have similar traits to the shoulder armor there. With it kind of pulsating slash breathing, which is really cool. ADS here again. The mask looks so good too. It's got like a nice glossy finish to it. And then should we have a little bit of physics as well with the gems on the mask? Honestly, I'm not seeing a lot there. But I still think it's okay. I really like the mask, though. It looks really mysterious. I mean, obviously, you know what she looks like. But if you didn't, it would be really cool as well. But yeah, options are great. We love the edit styles in it. Night as well, might as well. I wouldn't say it's necessarily glowing on the pink hearts and gems. But it kind of looks like it is right now. Maybe slightly, but that could be a stretch. Combos with the back bling, starting with Candyman. And then we have Corrupted Voyager. We have Nash here. Really fun theme with the heart on his actual uh, chest there. We have Lovethorn. No red on her, but I like the theme for sure. It looks really cool. Suki 2.0. We have the wrap on the starter style cosmetics here. Looks pretty cool. We have Chopper, one of my favorites. Looks pretty cool on her. In terms of combos, not my favorite skins. We have Folly, what it came with, obviously. Um, we have Heartstopper. Not bad here. Not great, but not bad. And then we have Mika Mika. Looks pretty cool on her as well, especially with her hair color and the heart there in the center. Looks great. Now the harvesting tool in game, which does have a really fun impact in the locker here. Let's see. Equip and equip. Really good streak there. That is really good. Impact amazing. 10 out of 10 impact. So good. That was done very well. Very impressed with the actual tool here. Here is the wrap on the Sugar Style Cosmetics. It's not bad. The heart being sideways on the collar bugs me a little bit. Other than that, not bad. And I am using pink as my primary color. The wrap on the machine learning set here with the female outfit called Glitch. Um, You can't see any of the heart color here, that pinkish purple color, because it's covered. It is still sideways. And then on the male outfit here, if we can go to that real quick, you'll see that you can actually see the heart displayed, but it's still sideways. It's still sideways. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Last but not least, a back blings on Folly. I am leaning more towards pink slash purple combos here. Because of the gems on the outfit, I think it gives you a little bit more flexibility here with the combos because we all know we can do red and black. That's super common for actual combos in the game here. So I didn't want to do too much red and black here. I did have the red cuddle bow on her, which does look good, but I did decide to go with the black bow. Now, putting bows on her, might be overkill because she already has the bow around her waist. Keep that in mind. But nonetheless, it still looks pretty good here. But I think my favorite, um, I like infatuation pack, but 
chrome cage, even though it's a lot more of a glossy chrome here than the actual armor on her, I still like the way it looks because you can still see the gem through the spine back bling as well. Lastly, I want to mention the brand new tab called Most Wanted, where we have just under 14 days to complete these quests that you see here. Um, it looks like we can't fully unlock everything until roughly under eight days from now, as you can see down here. But it is my understanding if you just want to outright buy these with the V-Bucks, you can do those today. And I believe the total is 1,800 V-Bucks to get all of these completed, which I understand. Why would you buy it if you can just complete it? Time is very valuable to me. And honestly, if we go to the item shop right now and we look at what it's going to cost you just to buy the wildcard outfit, we're looking at 2000 V-Bucks to buy all those rewards. It was 1800. So keep that in mind. It's not a bad deal to buy them, but if you have the time and the patience, you might as well do the quest and just wait and get them all for free. It's up to you though. And with that being said, the like in the video is always appreciated. Subscribing is free. Epic Games, thank you for granting me these cosmetics for free. Definitely appreciate it. Supporter creator PIZ0 in the item shop. And we'll see you nerds on the live stream. See ya.